to get the psychology chair, don't you? Yes, yes, you're right. But don't you have some kind of spell that doesn't tickle like this? <laughs> sure. You just look it up under spells, unticklish. Yes, yes, you're right, of course. <laughs> this isn't funny, Margaret! Oh, who's that, my God? Is that one of your kids? They don't knock for anything. Oh. Linda! Is that you? Yes, me, open up. Coming. Coming, Linda, just a second. Hi, hi. Did you get everything? Yeah, I stopped by videos and I picked up the fetish. I don't mind telling you, Susan, though, that was the most disgusting shopping. <laughs> hi, Margaret. Hi. Lamb's blood. Cat urine? Did you get the bat guano? Well, how could I forget that after spending three hours in a damp cave? <laughs> what part of the bat is the guano, anyway? Margaret, be serious. Well, how am I supposed to know? What is it? If the... Never mind. Now, did you both find out the dates and the exact times of your husband's birthdays? Yes, I found out from Josh's mother. Mm -hmm. Charlie was born June 3rd, 1938, at exactly 7.45 a.m. Why do you want to know? Because I'm going to cast charts on each of our husbands. You know how Vivian always stressed that there was an orderly rhythm to the way the stars controlled each one of us? Do you think any of this stuff really works? Well, it's worked fine for Susan and Nick, hasn't it? Come on, Linda, not again. You know, when I started witchcraft, Nick was just an assistant professor. Now he's a dean. And nothing's happened to Charlie's career. Well, maybe you're not taking it seriously enough. Oh. I mean, look what it's done with Josh and Margaret. Yeah, only Josh thinks he's done it all himself. He's just <laughs> humoring me. Well, tonight we're going to make a believer of him. Vivian says that that spell never fails. And I think that just about wraps up the psychology chair. Boy, I sure am glad my mother can't see me now. You know, she never even let me have a pet.
just relax and enjoy it. Look, Margaret, I don't think this is right. I am a professor at the university. What if the neighbors see us? Shh, they won't if you're quiet. What is that stuff? It smells awful. Don't ask. I'm asking. Huh? I'm asking, what is that stuff? It's bat guano and cat urine. Let me, let me hear that again. No, no come, come on, let me hear that again. It's bat guano and cat urine. Thank you, I'm going no, back to the on, house. come on, come on. You said you would do this. Please, honey. Bat Remember? guano, yeah. This could mean something. Could mean the department chairmanship. Uh-huh. Now turn over, please. <clears throat> Do we have a cat? Shut up, Josh. Yeah. I'm afraid to ask. What? What is this gook? Lamb's blood. Lamb's blood. Mm-hmm. What we have for dinner? Huh? It's not funny, Josh. This is an important <laughs> ritual, you know. Yeah, you sure? Yes, it is. This is Jamaican feather magic. What is it? <laughs> Josh! <laughs> there. Yep. Mm. They have tape down there? Let's do this. Let's do this. This will be over with in the morning. You know, everybody's going to be wearing these. Shut up. This means something. All of this does. <laughs> I know it does. <laughs> okay, honey. Okay. Darling? Yes, dear? When can I come in, my sweetheart? Oh, not until the sun comes up, honey. Thank you, my dear. until I've had something to eat. Good morning, Mother. What's for breakfast? Oh, I'm sorry, dear, but it's the cook's day off. You'll have to have breakfast at the faculty club. I'm busy with my cookbooks. That's okay. I'll see you later. Oh, darling, would you do a couple of favors for me today? Sure. <laughs> Looks like Greek to me. Oh, this is very old Greek. If I give you a bunch of equations, could you find the underlying formulas common to all of them. I was thinking that I could combine a lot of different recipes and get right to the heart of any particular dish. Clever idea. I'll run it through the computer today. <laughs> you know, maybe if you spent a little less time trying to be a witch and made an occasional stab at being a wife, I would be more inclined to humor you. And just what does that mean? Well, look at this. You call this breakfast? Yes. You know, I'll bet at this very minute Charlie Reynolds is sitting down to a breakfast of scrambled eggs and sausage and blueberry muffins and pancakes and waffles. Sure. That's why he has to buy his clothes at the Mr. Fat Boy Boutique. Not the point. Do you think that Linda had Charlie spend the night 
In the backyard, staring at the moon, covered in batshit, cat piss and blood? What makes you so sure she didn't? Margaret, honey, you're going to have to find yourself a new hobby. I quit. Oh, boy, this is terrible timing, Josh. Jo I've been doing this for four years, and now I finally have a chance to give you a little nudge in a very good direction. And you quit. Margaret, I'm going over to Linus's for a few sets of tennis. Maybe if I hurry, I can get there before they finish serving breakfast. didn't work. Good shot! Wow! Sensational! <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't make that shot again in a million years. Make it a million years, so what, Nick? We won, didn't we? <laughs> hey, that was the luckiest save I've ever seen. Lucky? Are you kidding? It was skill. Pure skill, babe. Skill? Okay, we're challenging another match. Charlie? Oh, no, no, no. I've had it. I refuse to die a weekend jock at the age of 42. <laughs> okay, how about a drink, then? Okay, who's buying? Flip for it. Call it. Heads. Linda, you take a look at this. You know, according to this book, that Lucifer egg is one of the most powerful hexes in all of witchcraft. That looks like the big granite egg that Vivian has. Mm -hmm. It is. And I think I know how to make use of the power of that Lucifer egg. You know, I've already convinced Vivian to donate hers to the University Sculpture Garden, where we can use it. Now, wait until Margaret hears about that. Oh, Susan, these are scary. Oh, Vivian ought to be here. We've never done anything like this before without her. We'll surprise her. She'll be very proud of us. You'll see. Well, that would be nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I think? What? I think I'm going to make a little snack. You got any stuff? Linda, you are impossible. Have you got any stuff? Yeah. Good. Combine the egg. Combine the egg with these hieroglyphs. Oh. oh, this could be fun. Well, it's about time. And tell Margaret I'm making a little snack, huh? Right. Hi, Margaret. Oh, oh. late again. Oh, boy, am I mad. I am so upset with Joshua. What's wrong? What happened? He wants me to take all of my spells off of him. I'm, I'm turning in my back guano. He doesn't give any of my mumbo-jumbo, as he calls it, any credit for any of the success he has had ever. You're kidding. After all you've done to get him where he is? Oh, boy. You know, I've got, I've got a good mind just to teach him a lesson. I'll remove all those spells. I'll let his luck run out a little bit. It should take a couple days, huh? Well, not more than that. Boy, then we'll let him see what he thinks about that. Oh, should I do it? Oh, well, that's up to you. What is this Lucifer egg business, anyway? Oh, I don't, it's, it's nothing that would be of any interest to you now. I mean, it can wait. Good, because I really have to get home. I've got a lot of stuff to do before he gets home. 
Margaret, you're not gonna leave. Look what I fixed us. I'm sorry, Linda, but I'm in a big hurry. I'll talk oh. to you later, Margaret. Oh. I'll her call Vivian and tell her that Margaret can't be there tonight. Why not? Oh, she's very upset. She's taking a little vacation from witchcraft. I don't understand. <sighs> no, you wouldn't. Look, do you think you can be ready by 6.30 tonight? I'll pick you up. No, but by 7, because I want to be able to eat dinner with Charlie. Linda, you're impossible. Hmm. Take a direct hit? No. I've simply gathered all the so-called mumbo-jumbo from your life. Where'd all this stuff come from? Oh, everywhere. It was just like a treasure hunt. I even made a little trip down to your office and cleaned that up. You see, Josh, this morning you made it clear to me that my hobby has gone too far. And frankly, I'm just tired of arguing about it. Unless, of course, you've become sane and changed your mind. Mm-hmm. Not a chance. I'm a rational 20th century man. What's this? Linda, Charlie, Susan, what are in these? Mm, just some nail and hair clippings. Ah, oh, standard equipment. Mm-hmm. This one's gigantic swallow wart. Gigantic what? Are you serious? Vervain, toad's hair, frog's eyes, uh -huh. holy basil, mantis legs, flannel hands. Am I going too fast for you? Darling, I know you're fascinated by all this, but can't you see it's becoming a neurotic obsession? It is not neurotic, and it is not obsessive. Joshua, I'm in love with you. Do you know that it's been years since you took even a little step without my protection? I, I even glued a little bit of this onto your tennis racket. Honey, this stopped being funny last night. It's not funny. And it's not a game. Where do you think all your luck is coming from? Really, when is the last time you had a speeding ticket? Josh, your luck is in this hamper. Now, if you want to cast your fate to the wind, then take it. Go ahead. Josh, how do you think we got this house? Because the real estate broker fell in love with your legs, not because of your magic. It's gonna be Chinese food, pizza, in or out. Do you feel any different? Hmm? No, I feel fine. Are you sure? I never. F <gasps> oh, that's really very funny, Flash. <gasps> you know, if I had any sense, I would leave you. I know. Because. Mm. Because I want pizza. Yes. No, 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 wait. Just make my half anchovies. <laughs> yeah, I'll go call her. Okay. 
You know, Flash, I'll give you two weeks at the outside. For what? <laughs> You'll see. Now, with a little help from my son and his computer, I have been able to unlock the problem that I've been working on for years. So now you pay close attention. These are you two. Here are your husbands. This is the most important discovery in the history of witchcraft. But I need more than my energy alone to make it work. When I'm ready, I'm going to need you both. Here is Joshua Lightman. And Margaret. I don't know what happened to the pizza guy. I gave him such explicit instructions. It's okay, Flash. They say a girl can never be too thin or too rich, and I'm not much of either. <laughs> what I've planned for you is best done on an empty stomach anyway. Hmm. Past the lips and past the gums. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go to bed. bed. So, so those cookies are like voodoo dolls, huh? Yes, in a way. I wonder how she plans to use them. I'm more concerned with how she plans to use us. Linda, how much does Charlie's career mean to you? Everything. I hate to see him get passed over all the time. That's why he overeats, you know. I know. And I'll bet you feel cheated every time Joshua Lightman gets an advancement instead of Charlie. I do. I think I know of something that can change all that. You do that for me? Mm-hmm. We're going to do it together. We're going to get that psychology chair for Charlie, even though Joshua is the board's fair-haired boy. But Joshua doesn't have a chance now that Margaret's taken all the spells off of him. We can't count on all that. You know Margaret. She'll probably screw everything up and improve Joshua's chances. And if Josh gets the psych chair, he could get the presidency. You mean instead of Nick? That's right. Well, let me tell you what we're going to do. Okay. But hurry up, because I'm hungry. Don't answer it, Josh. No, I better. Oh, what are you, a doctor? Hello? Joshua, don't hang up. I want to talk to you. Who is this? Joshua, please. I love you. Look, if this is a joke, I'm not amused. If it's an obscene phone call, you need a lot more imagination. Hmm. Hey, listen, you creep. Yeah? This is Joanna Ornholt. I'm a student of yours. Do you remember me? Yeah, what do you want? I want you to change my grade. I'm not going to flunk out of school because of you. Look, Miss Ornholt, it's late and I'm tired and you're free to take your grievances to the standings committee. Then you won't change my grade? No. Okay, pig. Just watch out. What was that all about? Some nutcase I didn't pass last semester who thinks I'm at the head of a conspiracy to flunk her out of school. Well, take the phone off the hook. I knew I married you for some reason. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and now? The other reason. <laughs> What is going on here?
It's dead. I killed it. It won't bother us anymore. sweet of you to say so. Oh, I'm so glad I saw you. Can you jump in for a minute? Sure. I'd love to. Oops. <sighs> Edward, please drive around the block. You know that pet project I've been working on? I think I've found the solution. Oh, it doesn't involve you at the moment, but it will. You've, uh, heard about Linus? Oh, of course. Who hasn't? That's wonderful. Do you realize that as of today, he is the youngest mathematics chairman in the history of the school? Well, I don't have to tell you how I feel about my son's success. I'm having a little celebration tonight. Oh, just for some of his close friends. May I count on you and Joshua? Yes, of course. Oh. just aren't any. There is no absolute good, there is no absolute evil, and above all, there is no absolute truth. There is only man. Professor Lightman, are you saying that man is the center of the universe? It sounds positively medieval, doesn't it, Mr. Schwartz? But isn't the universe what we perceive it to be, the sum of our awareness? We are all of us the latest link in the chain of human thought, a collective intelligence that has created God, the universe, and everything in it. Without our conscious thought, does anything really exist? It is not as Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, but rather we think, therefore it is. But there is a God. Jesus Christ is Lord of the universe. As usual, Miss Groton, I think you missed the point. But let's save all our arguments until tomorrow. Same time, same place. She was really rattling her cross today. Professor, would you describe Marsh's condition as neurotic or psychotic? Mr. Schwartz, I wouldn't even begin to describe the condition of the daughter of the president of this university. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was only asking. Joshua! Hey, come on over. I want to take your picture. <laughs> what do you think of our latest acquisition? You really don't want to know. Ah, oh, you know how I value your opinion. It's awful. Why, Joshua, I'd like you to be so blunt. May I quote you? No, not until... What, Thursday and the chairmanship? What about the dark horse? Susan, we all love Charlie, but which window are you betting at? Win, place, or show? Oh, win, of course. Then play the favorite. It's safer. Oh, I almost forgot Nick wants to see you. Okay, how did the picture turn out? Oh, it takes a few minutes. I'll give it to you if it's any good. Okay. Hey, what happened to your face? Oh, I cut myself shaving. Oh, you ought to try an electric shaver. What a wonderful idea. <laughs> Maybe I will. I'll see you. Bye.
Look, I'll get back to you later. Take care. Hold all my calls, please, Marilyn. Glad you came up. I've been looking for you. Yeah, that's what Susan said. It's something serious. You've got tennis elbow. <laughs> One of our students has accused you of sexual assault. What's her name? His name is Kenneth Moore. Oh, <laughs> come on. You gotta be kidding. Wasn't he in your group therapy session last semester? Yes, why? This morning he told his father you convinced him he was a homosexual. Lured him to a motel and seduced him. Oh, Nick, this is completely absurd. Do you have a lawyer, Josh? It can't be that serious. I'll get you one. Let me talk to this boy. Out of the question. We'll have to play by ear for now. Nick, I want to confront this kid. Josh, we've been friends a long time now. And I'm telling you, don't even try. Okay, okay. Can't believe this. By the way, Josh, what did you do to your face here? So, Josh, you still don't feel any different, huh? Why should I? Just because I threw all that junk down the drain? No. Anything unusual happened today? No, just an average day. I heard you got involved with the gay liberation movement. Oh, <laughs> nothing I can't handle. Mm -hmm. Darling, can we drop all this? Sure. Would you uh, help me with this, honey, please? Yeah. Just hook it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't see it in this light. I think you better sit down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. sit down, sit down. Mm -hmm. No, maybe you better lie down. Yeah, lie down a second. Like this? That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. There, see? Much better. Well, um, maybe I should help you. This looks like it's not straight. Mm -hmm. I'll just help you with it here. <laughs> now, isn't that better? Oh, much better. That looks good. What about yeah. this down here? Yeah, I think that, yeah. Wait a minute, let me see this here. Yeah, that's good. I better take a look at this here. Dress, mm -hmm. see, yeah. it really should be more like this, yeah, so that I can get to this portion on this side. You know what I mean? I think so. Well, let's just take my car, because we're real late, you know? As no as problem. As... Just flooded. Josh, let's take my car. Relax. I'll have it fixed in a second. your car. You'll undoubtedly be next. Oh, Margaret, you look splendid. <laughs> yeah. And isn't it terrific about Linus? 
Blessed are those who teach, for they have followed the path of the Lord. Yes. Uh, are you going to throw a bash like this when you get the psychology chairmanship? You're still in the running, Charlie. Oh, I think it's yeah. safe to say the big money's on you, Josh. <laughs> What's the championship anyway? A bunch of paperwork. Well, like $15,000 a year more. Money isn't everything, Linda. Now, that's very original, Josh. <laughs> Let's not talk shop tonight. We're here to celebrate the success of our steam car. Right. Oh, Nick is right. Congratulations, Linus. We're all pulling for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys going to be at the club tomorrow? I'll be there. Certainly. We're all going to need it after tonight. You want to settle the chairmanship like men? I'll clean you. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oh, Josh, <laughs> champagne time. Well, it seems to be champagne time. <laughs> Mrs. Welk and I will step over there. Oh, boy. Quite the night. Mm hmm. Pass the lips and pass the gums. Josh. Come on. Look out, stomach. Here it comes. <laughs> you can't mean it. Susan, is that what he really said? Hey, how come you never like my friend's wives? Josh, take my word for it. Those two are dangerous. Oh, come on. No, really. You don't know the rules of this game or how they're played. They'd do anything to knock you out of that race. What race? The psychology chair, stupid. You know, that's going to be determined by something that you don't understand and that you refuse to believe, right? <gasps> President Groton off the starboard. <laughs> Good evening, Carl. Good evening, Joshua. I hope you can resolve this distasteful Kenneth Moore affair before it causes any further embarrassment to the university. You look lovely tonight, Margaret. Vivian! Oh, I've kept you two. Uh, My, you're looking handsome tonight, Joshua. Thank you, Vivian. Uh, why don't you circulate around while I borrow your elegant wife for a few minutes? Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Uh, thank you. I'll hold on to this one. always admired this and I want you to have it oh I couldn't oh but you could please make an aging clothes horse happy all right oh it's just beautiful I love it oh thank you oh oh you remind me so much of myself at your age oh Vivian I just wish there was something I could do for you maybe someday driving? Yes, you are. How am I doing? Just great. Oh. You still think everything's all right? Sure. Are we still at the party? Yes, we are. We're at the party now. It's dark here. <laughs> Get up. Mm. You're gonna be late for class. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'll get you some coffee. In mm -hmm. an ambulance. Get the coffee, honey.
going on? Stavros here. I'm in lot niner. Suspect firing rifle from roof to parking lot nine, north of Campus Road. No other suspects visible. 4A51 on scene. Please, put the rifle down. Put it down. Hands on your head. Now hold it. Time. Margaret, trust me. Everything is okay now. No one was hurt. No, we're keeping it out of the news. She's just a psychotic kid. She needs some help. I can understand that. Josh probably just doesn't want to upset you over nothing. 
It could have happened to anyone. Look, Margaret, do us both a favor. Wait till he tells you about it, okay? Boy, your game was really off today. Yeah, well, you know, I've got a lot on my mind. Should hear about the chairmanship tomorrow. I guess. You know, just last week, odds are 100 to 1 in your favor. Now you've got just two chances, slim and none. Charlie! Great game! You're in Play. fine form, Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great game. You know, I have been smelling the strangest odor all afternoon. Did you know I smelled that too? Pungent kind of. Yeah, well, uh, you see, Linda's been on this, uh, well, it's like a health food kick. She's been rubbing a solution on me at night. Says it will increase my vitality. Is it worth it? Smelling like a urinal, I mean. Cat piss. A caveman is sitting in front of his cave when he catches sight of a saber-toothed tiger, okay? Instantly, it's fight or flight. Simple adrenal secretions, coagulation chemistry, tensed muscles, stress. But in today's world, when things go wrong, you don't know why stress won't help you. It will only give you headaches, insomnia, high blood pressure, ulcers, neuritis, kidney and cardiovascular diseases, and itchy skin. In other words... Stress can be defined in modern terms as a physiological response inappropriate to a situation. Would you expand on that a little? No. Come in. Hi. Oh. Hiya, Charlie. How you doing? I saw your light on and thought I'd drop by. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, congratulations. Boy, was I surprised. I, I really thought you had the chairmanship in the bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be quite honest, so did I. Hey, you want a mint? No. Uh, no, thank you. Well, the chairmanship, what is it? Just a lot more paperwork, right? Yeah. Don't forget the extra 15,000. Linda won't let me. She keeps... You going to the club tonight? I don't think so. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. Hey, I'll be seeing you, old buddy, huh? Yeah, yeah, right. What are we doing here? I told you, we have to take one more picture of the egg. <laughs> Linda, yeah, it worked. I mean, we got the psychology chair for Charlie. Yeah, I know, but it's too scary here oh, at night. I, I want to get out of here. Linda! I'm sorry! Well, don't just stand there. Let me pick it up. All right! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I don't think anything's broken. Can you get my lipstick, Linda? I, I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm just scared of everything. <laughs>
Josh, are you all right? Huh? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. I never felt better. Josh, what happened to my car? Huh? Oh, that's nothing. Just, just a little accident. Nothing to worry about, darling. Everything's fine. Listen, uh, what, uh, what flies through the air, comes out of an egg, and uh, can take the top off your car? I've been thinking, wouldn't it be nice to get away for a little while, take a little trip? Well, sure. That sounds great. When? Tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight, right now. You go pack. I'll call the airlines. Josh, look. Don't you see? Things have not been going so well for you since you destroyed my defenses. That had nothing to do with it. <laughs> you, that, that, that you simply planted a, a, a suggestion in my subconscious and, uh, and, uh, you know. <laughs> oh. Okay, look. Why don't we it's just... Elementary psychology. Okay, why don't we just relax for a minute, huh? Calm down. Yeah. Let's have a drink. Okay. Aren't you going to pack? Yes, yes, I'm going to pack. Good. But let's just have a drink first. Oh, okay. Okay. One drink. Okay. And I'm calling the airlines. When I stopped practicing magic, some delicate balance was upset. But I never expected anything like this. I have to, um... I have to transfer that spell from you to me so I can counter it. Balance is a beautiful thing. Yes. Yes, it is. Are you feeling relaxed? <laughs> I think so. You have drunk from my lips. Yours is mine. Say it, Josh. All that's mine is Nick. What is it? I think someone's at the door. little friend. I'm really third rate. I don't like what you're doing. I don't like your tactics. You're stupid. Do you think you can weaken me that way? You're wrong. Now stop your little game right now. I'm gonna stop it for you. Do you understand? What was that all about? Oh, I think she's just upset over Joshua losing the psychology chair. She seems more than upset. Oh. Appears on the verge of a breakdown. Honey, I think you owe it to her as a friend to give her all the help you can. Oh, I intend to, darling. 
Chicky. Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Come on. I need one of your chickies. Come on, let's go. Thirty steps backwards in hellish flight, a sacrificial bird is slain. Thirty steps backwards in hellish flight, a sacrificial bird is slain. Now, don't argue with me, Ben. I know what I'm doing. I'm not sure just how much time I have left. Whatever you say, Vivian. But as your attorney, I really must question the wisdom of these changes. Who is this Margaret Lightman? A dear friend that I've become very attached to. Now, don't worry. Linus is still very well provided for. Now, I want this will foolproof uncontestable, and with no loopholes. What the hell is that? Oh, somebody's idea of a bad joke. Some joke? Maybe we should move to another neighborhood. We can afford it now. No, that's all right, honey. Go, go on. We can decide about that later. Hurry up. I don't want you to be late. It's the first day as a chairman. Go on. Go on, honey. Margaret? Hello? Margaret's doing her spells again. Linda. She hung a chicken on the door. Linda, don't worry about it, darling. Susan, I'm taking care of it right now. Promise? Okay. Talk to you later. Hello? Oh, Josh, thank God you're still there. Everything is totally out of control. I'm in terrible trouble, Josh. Susan and Linda had no way of knowing that you destroyed my defenses. They still don't. They suddenly become more powerful than anything I have ever imagined. I tried to fix things last night, but it just didn't work. Now, Josh, listen to me. You, you've got to believe me. You're the only one that can save me, all right? No questions now, Josh, please. There just isn't any time. Now, listen. I'll be killed unless you do exactly as I'm telling you. Margaret, where are you? between you and Margaret. Did you hear me? Susan, did you hear me? Susan, are you there?
I think you're really gonna like this one. It can hold a year's supply of ink. And it has a platinum tip? Oh, better. This has a 14 karat gold fill tip. I asked you for platinum. Now, this one. This is our finest. This is a ballpoint. Not exactly. You see, it has a special filter that never wears out. Do you or don't you have one with a platinum tip? Here. Okay. How much? Uh, can I show you something in ink? How much? At 25 plus tax. Would you like a gift wrap, sir? Sir! Yes? It's not my fault if Margaret was foolish enough to drop her defensive shield. That's right, Vivian. We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We were just trying to help Charlie. It just sort of got out of hand. Shut up, Linda. Apparently, you haven't learned the first lesson I tried to teach you. Use only enough force to get the job done. You realize you came close to killing them. Look, Vivian, if you've called us here just to extract an apology... Oh, if I'd wanted to, Susan, I could have stopped you. Permanently. We're not denying your powers. Oh, really? I thought I told you to shut up, Linda. I don't know why you're making such an issue of it. Everything worked out. The Lightmans are very much alive. And you have me to thank for that. You? You're not the fairy godmother type. Why? You'll soon see. Excuse me a minute. Mm hmm I'll be back. Oh, please, help yourselves. What are you doing? You know how powerful she is. 
she doesn't scare me anymore. And you, you better choose sides. Now that I've set our stage, I'll explain the scenario. I am a sick woman. My body is dying more quickly than even the specialists will admit. But I have found a way to cheat death. What I intend doing is this. I don't understand. Soul transfer. That's right. Why, Margaret? I have discovered that souls are like blood types. Margaret and I are compatible. I don't like it. As I told you before, I need you two to help me to build enough energy to enable one soul to leave its own body for another. You see, it's like a spark jumping a gap. Only in this case, it will be two sparks. And when it's over, I shall be Margaret Lightman. Come on, let's go, Linda. Uh... I'm a smart girl. I won't forget it. Neither will I. Margaret, are you all right? I'm sorry, did you say something? I said, are you all right? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I'm fine. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green yes. pastures. He leadeth me well, she's been unconscious about a minute. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth well, me she grabbed her chest just before she passed out. Sake. Yea, though I walk through yes, the valley does of the shadow of heart. death, I shall fear no evil, for thou Susan, art... Susan, carry, I'm a guest thy here. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest yes. a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. All right, but please, my hurry. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Oh, Shut up, Linda. Shepherd. She's not I dead not yet. Want. You okay? I'm fine. You sure? shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, for I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.
What? You and Margaret get over there. Yeah. We'll be right there. Sweetie. Sweetie, come on. Come on. Linda, how do I look? Young. Uh-huh. Well, here's to youth. You seem to have acquired more than your share. I have, haven't I? Lucky you. Susan, luck had nothing to do with it. You know, the chairmanship is just a little bit too much paperwork for good old Charlie. Linda, I think... shut up. Well, I just wanted to say hello to you girls. I think I ought to be getting back to my husband. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye. It's Vivian. I know it is. Just relax. Oh. It's going to be all right. Let's get out of here. Oh. Is there a Joshua Lightman here? Yeah, why? The doctor would like to see you. Yes, I'm here. It's all right. <laughs> Joshua, please. I don't want to die in this body. You're going to be all right, Vivian. I'm not Vivian. She's the one who's done this to me. And I thought she was my friend. But now she's trapped me in this carcass and left me to die. You're not going to die. You don't understand. I am Margaret. I'm your wife. Oh, please. You must do something to help me. Joshua, I'm a great believer in free enterprise. But it's time that Vivian was stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. What are you talking about? That is your wife in there dying. One of us isn't sane, Susan. Joshua, this isn't just for your benefit. Now I can deal with Margaret as an adversary. But no one can deal with Vivian. She's become too dangerous. Why should I believe anything you tell me? No reason. 
But if Vivian's body dies with Margaret's soul inside, she's lost forever. Margaret's life and soul are at stake. Now listen carefully and follow my instructions exactly. And when you've prepared everything, call me. You're gonna need my help. Aren't you coming to bed? I'll be up in a minute. Is anything the matter? No. I just feel like a drink. Oh, I suppose I could use a drink, too. Past the lips and past the gums. Cheers. You go ahead, darling. I'll lock up. Have all that? Remember, when you hold up Margaret's picture, Vivian will be reflected in the mirror when you break it. Now hurry, there isn't much time. She's vicious, Josh. You're in great danger.
Merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, our comfort and sorrow, and our peace in dying. We thank thee that you are the eternal home and dwelling place of all who seek thee. We bless you for the hope you have given us, telling of a life that never fades, and a life that cannot know the bitterness of sin. Jesus Christ, and those we love, await you with us.
now. You said you wanted a boy, right? Yeah. Girls are nice. Well, what's it gonna be? Boy, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. See, this little number is a Samoan fertility rite. I'm not going to even ask what's in it. Good. Now turn over. Do I have to stay out here all night? No, no, you don't. Just till the moon sets. It'll only be a couple of hours, you know. And then? And then? Well, what do you think? I mean, my magic is pretty good, but it's not that good. Okay. I'll see you in a couple of hours, Flash. Margaret? Yes? I'm so glad things are back to normal. Oh, so am I, darling. Good night. Jamaica. 